Bradley Ram Crazy 900. We're going to be doing star size comparison today. That's right, star size comparison. Now, it is the day after fracking Christmas. It's like the 27th. Yeah, today is the fracking 27th of December 2020, and it's fracking time. It's about freaking time. Would I rather do star size comparing or buy an Aristo phone? Well, no, I wouldn't buy this. I'd rather do stars comparing. Now, we're just going to start with the sun. So, or we're going to start with. Uh, er. So, the Earth wouldn't be this size right here. It wouldn't be this size. It'd be a different size, though. So, we're just going to put it aside. We're going to take the Earth. Make it the size of this, made into this, okay? So the earth would be the size of a golf ball, true, and if the earth is the size of a golf ball, okay. 763 Earths, which is a golf ball, could fit in Saturn. But how many is six, 760? Well, real quick, I'm just going to take Saturn. With my telescope, I have a special mode that can take freaking planets. Take planets. And it can actually grab. Okay, so I have my telescope right here. And I'm just going to look. Okay. It's in my hand right now. I'm not sure. I don't want to let it go until I put this telescope away. Because then Saturn will be Okay, let me just take this controller. Oh, that's ready, set. Man, that's big. Dang. So, 763 golf balls could fit in this planet right here. So, yeah, let's just take it away. Okay, that's done. Yikes. Now, what's next? You know what's next? Jupiter! So Jupiter can fit about four to, to four to five Saturns inside. Saturn's more than half the size of Jupiter, but if you were to take four Saturns, you could put one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here, and then fit that into this planet right here, Jupiter. Okay, so four Saturns can fit into Jupiter. All right, now, next, Ju how many Jupiters can fit in the sun? Well, the sun is about, well, we're going to have to go to the next room for that. It's a little bit dark here. I'm going to go get my controller and then I'm going to put the sun up in the sky.
Okay, so I'm just going to take the sun and I'm going to put it up in the sky because right now it's really dark and I need to put it up in the sky. Ready, set, three, two, one. Wow, now it's bright. Okay, so guys, now we're gonna have to take the sun. How many Jupiters can fit inside the sun? Well, the sun would about be this big right here. And Jupiter would be about this big right here. So about, hmm, about 115 Jupiters could fit in the sun. 1,300 times 115 equals what? Let's see the equation. Now, if we just take this remote right here, we're just going to take the star color, we're going to take the sun, and we're just going to put it right here. Okay, so now that the sun's in here, it is getting really hot around here, but, you know, it's always fun. Now, it's really hot in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it back. Okay, so it's gone now. This remote can take any stars. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, look. There's like a ornament on the tree right here, and it looks pretty dang good. So, you see this ornament right here? Okay, now that's the sun. So I'm just gonna. Okay, so the sun's gone now. And should be back in the sky. Now we're gonna take Pollux. Pollux. We're just gonna put it right here. So we're gonna take the remote. We're gonna type in. Hold on, guys. Where did it go? of remotes and stuff to control Polux to get in here. Now, let's try this out first of all. Okay, so let me just, you know, do everything I can do. And I gotta plug something in, and then I'll be ready to get Polux up here. This Polux grabber in because you know. Okay, now we're gonna take Polux, my favorite star ever. Really? You, I, sweetie, you're not gonna like. So, right here, I'm just gonna turn this all the way on and I'm gonna. And check it out, Polux. Okay, now I'm just gonna close it and yeah, turn it into just nothing. Okay, so now that we have Polux, we can take this dial board and we're going to frickin' like put Polux in the room. It takes a lot, a lot of work to take Polux. Okay. Polux, enter. Power on. Okay, so Polux is a little bit bigger than the sun. Like, just 
just a little bit bigger than the sun. Well, yeah. So as you can see, Bullock has a neat size. I'm just gonna put him back. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so there you go. Now he's gone. Now Polix is done. Polix is about, you know, the size of the entire house, but, you know. Okay, now, we're gonna take Beetlejuice. That's right, Beetlejuice. And we're gonna put it right here somewhere. So we're gonna take Beetlejuice, put it here, and then be like, Yeet. Okay, so Beetlejuice is bigger than any other star we have experienced, yet it's not the largest star. Well, now we. What's this? Okay, Beetlejuice is. What's that? So Beetlejuice, when it explodes, it's going to be a nebula, okay? Now, this keyboard ain't going to do nothing. Alright? Now, it's time for the largest star in the Milky Way. It might even be the largest star in our galaxy. But actually, you I, sweetie, would be so big. That our sun would be the tip of this pen. The tiny little tip of this pen. The size of that. And you, I, Scooty, would be this big. It's the largest star ever discovered. Okay? Put that away. Now, you know, let's cut the clip. Come on. Okay, guys, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Like, like, you see that, like, bell right there? I'm not sure. You just gotta... Yeah, it's gone. Hold on. Now, you're not gonna forget to like, are you? Well, first, freaking first, you gotta say, like, this, this, like, thumbs up, and you, and you just... Okay, you see what I just did to that thumbs up? So what you gotta do to your thumbs up button below. It's right over there. It's it's right over there, okay? It's right over there. Right up that. Freaking click that and you're done. Alright, see you in the next video. Look at that 